Yesterday, a middle school boy, washed away by a riptide, was rescued after floating like a leaf in the rough sea for 30 minutes. Everyone, did you know about the survival swimming technique, named the, leaf floating? Today, we will learn about the leaf floating, which is known as, seat belts in the water. Shall we start? This is firefighter Kong Dong Hoon who will guide us today. In Korea, firefighters save people from inland water accidents. Let's begin with warm-up exercises, shall we? First, press your head down from behind using both hands, and then right to left, using the left hand. Use your right hand to lower your head from left to right. Finally, use both thumbs to push your head up from under your chin. Each time hold it for 10 seconds. And then, you can do the warm-up stretching exercises that you usually do before swimming. Now that the warm-up is done, Shall we rehearse the leaf floating posture? Assuming you are lying on the water, put your arms up above your head and take the hooray pose. Loosely push your hips back. The important thing is to place the lungs in the middle of the upper body and lower body. To the do so, loosely bend the relatively long legs while extending your arms in a full length. Next, shall we practice the unique breathing method to secure enough buoyancy, for the leaf floating. Put your feet on the edge of the pool and practice the breathing. Concentrate on keeping your face, especially your nose and mouth, above the water. We recommend you to exchange only 20 to 30 percent of the air after taking in a full breath. Do this breathing training 5 to 10 times for 15 minutes. Then, you will be able to keep your face afloat comfortable while putting your feet on the edge. Come on. Now, let's push your two feet off the edge, shall we? At this time, if you extend your arms above your head, you will have the leverage effect that helps make the body float easily. Do this training for about 10 minutes, then, you may keep your legs floating for about 1 minute. But, the lower body gets heavy over time and it will sink slowly. Please do not worry. This is normal because your lower body is far from the lungs that provide buoyancy and is relatively longer while your upper body has lungs and is shorter. Then, how can we stop our heavy legs from sinking? You need to train yourself to lift up the lower body. For this, you can use your arms pushed up as a lever to lift the heavy lower body, at the same time, loosely fold the knees to lighten the legs. The fulcrum in the back shifts down and your body is tilted backwards slightly and tip of both knees will move up. Once the exact balance between the upper and lower body is found, just maintain it. The key to leaf floating is to make your whole body float in the water comfortably like a dry leaf. When you extend longer and make the lower body short, your knees will easily rise. Imagine your body is a seesaw in the playground and try to find the exact linear balance by adjusting the length of your limbs. The last step is to extend your upper body an additional 5 to 10 centimeters above your head, adding buoyancy with a deep breath. Unfold the knees very slowly while elongating the entire upper body. To make your upper body longer, it is important to keep your arms close to your ears. Why do we need to straighten our legs for completion the leaf floating? It is because this will ensure your body floats stably by reducing the frictions occurred under the water, particularly in the wavy seas. If you can maintain a balanced posture and stable breathing, the leaf floating is now complete. Try it for 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes or more. You should practice the floating the same way as you learn bicycling to get used to it. Even if you're a non-swimmer, you can prevent accidental drownings by just floating in the water. Okay. Let me give you a useful tip. By simply wearing a neoprene swim suit of 3 mm or thicker and wearing floatable aqua shoes when you do leaf floating, you can float goûté easily and safely. When the leaf floating method meets with neoprene swimsuit and aqua shoes, it can provide you an excellent drowning prevention tool. Then, why don't you give your beloved ones a neoprene swimsuit as a gift for this summer? When you go for swimming, be sure to bring the leaf floating skills with you. Again, let's buckle up.